the best way to learn is by doing, and welcome to the video service that unlocks and reveals the hidden value in your SAP system. In this video, we're going to focus on shelf life expiration date capability in warehouse. Stephen, this is a big deal for many companies. How about you tell us a little bit more about how to deal with shelf life management? Absolutely, Martin. Managing shelf life expiration dates in your warehouse is no easy task. WM has built specific stock removal or picking strategies that automatically direct you to the material or batch that will be expiring first. This allows you to maintain FIFO principles and minimize expiring materials. The most critical thing warehouse folks must do is pick the batch called upon from SAP rather than picking another just because it may be easier or closer. In this video, I will demonstrate a few tools and best practices to help warehouse staff identify and manage sled materials and materials that have surpassed their expiration dates. Many organizations and warehouses have materials that expire. There's many different strategies and really ways that you can manage your shelf lives um, within your organization, your supply chain. And SAP is certainly capable of helping utilize and really manage those shelf lives. So one of the first transactions that we'll display here is going to be LX27, which is the SLED, which is Shelf Life Expiration Date Control List. There's two required fields here. It's going to be your warehouse number, which has shelf lives. The second's going to be down here in the number of days remaining in your shelf life. You can see below that there's two bubbles that are populated there. The first is total remaining shelf life, which accommodates for your transit time or your transportation time, such as your goods receipt time. It takes into consideration the overall um, picture outside of the warehouse, which is awesome. The second one below that is just simply, hey, it's expired in the warehouse. You need to get it out now before it actually expires and doesn't take into consideration some of those lead time 